Minister Castro, as he was, did not have power under the National Lands Act to enter into this transaction. But I want to say to colleagues in this Senate, and let me be brief on this point, because everybody says it's going to court, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of legal arguments. But Senator Perfit, who I believe passed land law, I think he passed it. Bear, well, hold on. Let's stick to the debate. One of the things you learn, I think, like in your first month or second month, and Senator Pitts will help him on this, in land law, is that a lease is called an estate in land. It creates an interest in land for, calm yourself down, relax yourself. As if we please, um, thank you. Just relax, relax, calm down. Take on each chill pill, patience. It creates an interest in land. It gives exclusive possession to the tenant. It transfers an interest from the landowner for the period of the lease to exclusively to the tenant. Don't say yes, because that's a disposal. I will tell you this, Madam President. I will tell you this. Be quiet, man. Senator, if we Be can quiet. please comply with standing order. I listen to you in blissful silence. <laughs> Behave yourself. I say this, and I'm serious about this. Minister Castro, after the National Assembly had been dissolved, entered into this lease two days before the general election. And most importantly, in response to Bishop and to Senator Smith, how much people will be employed? How much Belizeans will be employed? Where is that? Caribbean Court of Justice in a different context has spoken to the power of government after parliament have been dissolved. It is called a caretaker government. You continue the day-to-day -day ordinary affairs of the government. You do not, in a smoke-filled room, you do not, without public disclosure, as I said on the last occasion, if this was so good for the Belizean people, two days before the election, why didn't they have it all over the place? And boast to the people of St. Creek that this is what we got for you. So great, so good. No, it was done in secret. It was done in the quiet of night. It was done without public knowledge. It was done by a minister who did not have the power to do it. It was done after the National Assembly had been dissolved, and it was done two days before the United Democratic Party well knew that they were going to be voted out of office, and so they hurried signed this, hoping to bind the incoming administration.